Welcome to the 10 Minute Mindshift Podcast. I'm your host, Janet Kegel, certified life coach, weight loss coach, and lover of all things related to upleveling my life and yours. My goal is to help you get one step closer to your goal, whatever it is. My goal is not to keep you wrapped up in self help all day, just 10 minutes. And who doesn't have 10 minutes, right? Hello, my friend. Welcome back. I have what I think is a very fun episode for you this time. It's 25 things that you can do that will for sure kick off this year with a jump start like you have never experienced before. I'm also going to hook you up with a podcast episode that will support you. I highly recommend that you print out this list of 25 things and you keep it handy and refer to it all year long. When you start feeling the need to get an energetic injection to get you back on track, you can go to this list and decide what you want to incorporate and integrate into your life that will up-level your results. I don't recommend that you do this list all at once, but you can take a look at it and layer on some of the things and sprinkle them in where you can and then notice the outcomes that you create as a result. All right, this is episode number 86 and kicking off the new year with 25 things. Buckle up. This is going to be a stretchy ride. Number one, surround yourself with people who inspire you, who stretch you. I don't remember who said this, but I believe it's true. You become the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. Be choosy about that. Number two, stop the compare and despair game. Refuse to play that game with your brain. There is no winner. Number three, set boundaries for your social media and other time and energy suckers. In fact, take inventory of energy sucks and take action. I highly recommend episodes number three, four, and five. Those are all about time, but we talk a lot about energy suckers and how to take inventory of those. All right, number four, become a conscious consumer. Decide the drink plan, the eat plan, and the spend plan. Create the plan and then execute the plan. Number five, Move your body in some fashion every single day. It doesn't even matter how, but choose what you love to do, not what somebody else is doing. Do what you love. Number six, stop complaining for 30 days, then for 60 days, and then just stop. It's not a good look and it actually repels the very life that you are working so hard to attract. So just stop. Number seven, feel all the feelings all of them. The big ones, the little ones, the happy ones, the sad ones. Episode number 10, number 14, and number 22 might be helpful to understand the purpose of negative emotions. Number eight, notice self-limiting beliefs and work on a new one every month. If you are struggling with the goal this year, try changing an old thought, an old belief every month, and then notice what you end up creating this year. Episode number two is a great way to start. Number nine, become unbusy. If you need help with that, go to episode number 76. Number 10, start practicing selfishness. I mean, real intentional selfishness. Number 67 is perfect for that. Number 11, raise your personal standards and stop tolerating your own crap. I would go to number one and then 71 for that. Number 12, Practice the art of being resilient. That is going to be episode 56. And number 13, up level your energy thoughts. Number 64. Number 14, learn how to create ladder thoughts. Episode number 65 is perfect to help you for that. And understand, it's not just about changing a negative thought to a positive thought. It is about creating ladder thoughts that help you believe your new thought and helps you rewire the neuroplasticity in your brain. This is a real important one. Number 15, create your own luck for a change. Episode number 53 will help you out. Number 16, practice being Beth Harmon for a day, at least one day this year. You don't even have to watch the series. Just listen to episode number 52. Number 17, chase your dreams without an emotional attachment to the outcome. If you just said, what the what? Go to episode number 48. 
Number 18, go all in and hold nothing back. And if you're feeling stuck on how to do this, go to episode number 47. Number 19, learn how to handle toxic people. Doesn't that sound like fun? Go to episode 43 and I'll support you there. Number 20, start that forgiveness journey. Nothing blocks abundance more than having a pain memory in the way. Go to episode number 33 and for sure that will help you get on that journey. Number 21, give your goals the luxury of time. This is one of my favorites and I hope you love it too. That's episode number 30. Number 22, do hard things instead of doing things the hard way. Go to episode 29 for help there. Number 23, stop people pleasing. Just stop. Go to episode 24. Number 24, change your money story. Stop living the same money story year after year after year. Go to episode 20 to get started. And finally, number 25, incremental upgrades. And that is going to be episode 19. All right, my friends, I hope that you enjoyed this episode. It's a roadmap for when you feel stuck. It's a place called start. It's what I do. It's what will help you create your heart's desire and live a life of balance and abundance, a life by design. You don't have to do this alone, my friend. I am just an email away. It's time for you to experience a transformation at the speed of life. Now, I hope that you have the best day ever. That's a wrap. I hope that you were able to experience a mind shift of your own today. Listen, if you love this podcast, you should totally check out my Life by Design six-week boot camp. It's a work-at-your-own-pace workshop and something that you can do over and over and over again to up-level your results. If a one-on-one coaching program is more your jam, I am all in. Just shoot me an email and get ready for a transformation at the speed of life.